I think improved international communications are almost always a good thing. They lead to development, they lead to more contact among different people with different cultures. Uh, that path has never been smooth. Um, I gave a talk at a very early ICANN meeting about uh, the expectation, which still prevails in some of the domain community, that, uh, that every small pizza joint owned by a guy named Joe anywhere in the world should be entitled to be called Joe's Pizza on the internet without qualification. The short summary of that discussion, it doesn't work. And we've known for centuries it doesn't work. So we distinguish between Joe's Pizza in North Carolina and Joe's Pizza in Guadalajara. <coughs> um, and we distinguish in a lot of different ways. And uh, uh, I don't know how common your names are because I can't read them in the invisible printing on these badges. But, uh, but I've had the strange advantage but I've had the strange advantage of being the only John Clemson on the internet. And it gives me a very strange perspective about everyone named Joe Smith. And it gives them a strange perspective on me. And my nieces and nephews hate it, because every time they try to do a search on their last name, or their friends do, they come up with a lot of references to me and nothing to anybody else. Are we gonna have to solve that problem? Well, one view is we've already solved that problem, we just haven't caught up with it with the internet. And another view of that problem is uh, we've been struggling with it for, oh no, I don't know, 20,000 years, and we're not making a great deal of progress, and holding it against the internet that we haven't made progress on that is probably not wise. So I think we'll just have to see it evolve.